Welcome back to Chapel Hill Parks and Rec. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a finger sling. So what a finger sling is, it looks like this. Um, this is going to be basically our finished product today. And what it does is in archery, you can put it on your finger. So that way, when you are shooting, you don't have to hold tightly onto the bow. It will come out and catch in the finger sling. Um, so that's its purpose. A lot of top level archers use them. Um, if you ever watch the Olympics, their bows will go swing all the way down. And that's basically what we're trying to create is make it so that you can do that with your bow without dropping it on the ground. Right. So the equipment today that you'll need is a pair of scissors, a shoestring, a lighter, and then whatever bow that you're probably going to be shooting. And so uh, because depending on your bow, depending on the grip, your hand may switch up kind of how wide your fingers are going to be apart. And so you want to make sure that you're tying it to what you're going to be shooting. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is going to have our shoestring. Now what I did to create this one is I cut the shoestring in half, I cut the aglets off, um, and then I singed both ends. So that gives us this. So each shoestring can give you about two um, finger slings. You don't want to use the whole thing because then you just end up with a bunch of waste or it's just in your way, kind of a pain in the butt. Alright, so it's cut in half. We got our sh string that we're going to work with. So what we want to do is we're going to create the loop. We're going to do a barrel knot. So these are two barrel knots so that way they can slide back and forth. So I'm going to make one loop, bring around, make a second loop like that. Then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to squeeze it. Alright? Squeeze it. I'm going to take the working end of our knot. I'm going to wrap it around. I'm going to wrap it down towards the rest of it. Okay? So it's going to wrap. I'm going to try and make this nice and clean. That is ideal. But if yours looks a little bit messy, that's fine. It'll work the same. All right, so I'm going to wrap it as many times really as I can. Okay, cool. And I'm going to bring it back through this loop. All right, I'm going to tighten it up, make it look a little bit better. And then I'm going to pull on this the other loop and tighten the knot. It's gonna look really messy at the start. I'm just gonna just press on it and roll it to make it look a little bit more clean, a little bit more compact. You wanna make sure it's compact because you don't wanna to get to a competition and be working on it and then, or shooting your bow and then have it um, come undone or slip or any way, anything like that. Right? Um, that's what you need to do for the first half. So at this part, I feel good about this. It looks good. I try it on my thumb. All right, it feels good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this little bit and leave about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit less. Now I'm using a synthetic shoestring. And so the nice thing about that is I can light it and it will singe. All right, so I'm gonna light it. Now I wanna really let it get melty. All right, blow that out and take the scissors, just press that in, and that would keep it from coming unraveled. Cool. That's the easy part. That's the first loop. Second loop is going to be a little bit more tricky, a little bit more challenging because you want to make sure that you're getting the right size finger sling. Right. So what I like to do is I go ahead and make my two loops. All right, so I'm going to do the one loop. The second loop. Now I can already tell that's gonna be a little bit big. Alright, so I'm gonna change it up. You try that. That might work. It's not too too bad. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on one finger. I'm going to see if I can hold my bow. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe a little bit loose, but so I may adjust it just a tiny, tiny bit. And this is just trial and error. So I'm going to adjust it just a little bit. It's easier to do it now before you've actually tied the knot than after. Alright, so I adjust it just a little bit. I'm going to pinch it again. I'm going to tie it down towards the other side of the finger sling. I'm going to wrap it. 
couple times. Just trying to make it nice and neat as I'm going. So I'm gonna put it back through the loop that we've created. Be a little bit tricky because I tied it a little bit tight. Right. And then I'm gonna tighten it down on this side. So at this point, if you want to change the size of your finger sling, you're going to have to untie the knot. So we'll see. Hopefully I won't have to do that. I'm going to pull it down nice and tight. So I want to check it again before I cut anything off of this side. I'm going to check it again. I'm going to grab my riser. beige stuff going on. Alright, that feels pretty good. It feels like it's going to be secure. So I'm going to go with that. Good. Just like the other side, I'm going to cut it about a quarter inch down. Burn it. Into place. Let it really go. I like to get it really nice and going. Just remember, you don't want it to slip out while you're in the middle of a competition. That is not an ideal thing to do. All right. So now we have our finished finger sling.